Hello everyone, today I'm here for Ink and Splatter and I'll be using this adorable little stamp and it's from the set Happy, East, uh, Happy Bunnies and I'll be using some Easter paper from Ink and Splatter, those two right there and I also use Jada Blossom luggage tags And here they are and I used the ripe persimmon and I went all around just to make it stand out I'll just glue those two together so today easy peasy project as I said in my other video I have two videos for today and uh, oh, I have her popped up I was down for four days I just was in bed for last four days just not feeling good so like I said easy peasy project for today I have a little banner with eggs on it and just placing it seeing how it's gonna work I'm going to cut my little eggs so if you're doing multiple banners you could just cut them like this and you have four no oh, five of the same color and then you could just cut them but if you just need one of each you can also use the coordinating die to go with it I just had them cut so I just went with this way That, and I'm just gonna glue those and then trim off what I don't need of the extra and just glue all the colored ones Yesterday was Easter. Hope everyone had a nice Easter. We had a pretty quiet one. Like I said, I wasn't feeling good. So thank God for my hubby. He did a nice supper. So yeah, we didn't do too, too much. At least today I'm feeling a, a little bit better. So it's good. It's good. So I have two videos for today and also I'll have one for tomorrow. I'm just gluing this and I'm just going to glue it flat to my tag. I'm not going to pop it and like so. And trim and I'll be adding it to a treat I got some ribbon I'm gonna do a pretty bow so yes today I have like I said two videos and there's two it's two tags so easy peasy with that and I'm going to just trim the extra off And here is a little 
treat that I'm gonna put it on it's all like little peeps um, little eggs there you go now I'm gonna show you how I colored my cute little bunny so we start with the C2 and I'm just gonna do the face and the ears for the first half because I don't like to do the whole thing I don't want my marker to be dry and it's easier to blend with a darker shade and it's C3 and now I'm going to go back to my C2 and just drag and blend those two together So this stamp set was part of the March release for Ink and Splatter. And now I'm going to do the arms and the little legs, or the little feet I should say. She is so adorable. At first I thought she was holding a blanket, but it's an egg. It's her little dress that I thought was her blanket. When I was little, I had a, a special blanket and I still have it. I put it away, but I have my blanket when I was little. I carried that thing all over so that's why I thought it was a little blanket. So now I got the RV11 for the pink and I do the bottom of her feet and then also the ears. And I take the C2 and I just put a little bit on top of that pink on the ears. And here I'm going to start coloring her little bow and also her uh, dress will be the same thing. So I kind of make it like a peachy color. So why are 82? Why are 12? And I blend those two together. And of course, I'll be bringing some pencil at the end for some shading. darker one and go back to the lighter to blend those two together so yes I'm a little late today but better late than never as I said in my first video there's a little bit of repeats I'm going back with my pink just to make it more pinky and here I'm going with the RV 34 for the egg and I'm starting my pencil work now So 
So we'll have new uh, release for Ink and Splatter uh, uh, next month. So in May, did see the previews for those, super cute. So now I'm just blending with my Gamsol and Nib. I was so happy I had these colored, this little um, image color so I can do a super easy project for today. And here I got the pink to do some rosy cheeks. And I put a little bit on her ears and on the bottom of her feet. And there it is. If ever it's a little too quick, you can always just go back and just pause the video to see the pencil. Sometimes, sometimes it speeds up a little too much. And yeah, so sorry about that. And that's the color I'm going to use on the peachy bow and dress. And I'm just blending that. There she is, all done up. So there's eggs included in this set. So I'm just gonna color real quick what I did. So I'm using the same colors that I used for the dress in the bow on the bunny. And I'm just showing you how I colored the, the smaller egg. So the B93 and 95. And on this set also there's little chickies. So I will show you how I colored those also. I did not use the chickies. I'll probably use it on a, a later posts but they are cute she she's got a little bow on her and then there's a little a little um boy one I would say with no bow so I'll show you both of them super easy so why are 21 and 24 And trying just to blend those two together. So touching the nib always helps when there is a big difference in color. So there is for the little feet. So why are 16? And for the little beak and I got the 18 YR 18 and that's the pencil I use and I'm just blending that pencil in so if you haven't seen a 
this release you can always go to the store they are in there um, I'm trying to think how many I think there was three new sets for ink and splatter I just received I think a week ago the one with the splatters like the paint splatter one so that's gonna be for I'll be using that one for uh, Monday the 24th of April that's my birthday <laughs> so I'll be using that one for that day so look forward to that so not next Monday Monday after but there is the chicky and here is the little boy chicky so the same colors going all around with a darker one and now just blend those two together Again, the RVR YR sixteen and eighteen. And the little cheeks again. And go around with the pencil again. Not that there's a lot of difference. Uh, with that pencil I think I could have went with the, a brown it would have showed a little bit more but they it worked out okay so all good so there is my last little chicky and there's the stamp set all colored up I had used that little bunny the little boy bunny on a previous post and I'm just going to show you again the material that I used for this tag. As I said, it was an easy peasy one. I had not shown the banner, so I showed the banner there. So hopefully you like my cute little tag for today. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.